Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about how to implement stack using arrays. What is stack? Stack is a linear data structure. What is data structure? The way of arranging data is a data structure. What is linear data structure? In the linear way we can arrange the data. So stack is the one technique in, in which we can arrange the data in linear way. Uh, generally stack used to call as a first in last in first out list what is last in first out list let us see the example let us consider this is the empty stack i am inserting the one then i am inserting the two if i want to take i can take the first two then only i can take the one so last inserted item two can be taken out first that is why it is called as a last in first out list other words we can key we can call first in last out list what is first in last out list the first inserted item one can be taken out at last that is why it is called as a first in last out list we can perform insertion deletion operation in stack but this operation can be performed at only one end okay insertion and deletion will be performed in the only one end that end is called as a top if you are seeing the operation there are four operations in stack one is the push pop display peak generally push is called as a insert if we want to perform the insert operation it is called as a push deletion operation is called as a pop we will see the operations one by one push operation let us see the push operation with the example let us uh, consider this is the stack the stack size is four so so it is having the four cell one two 3, 4. Okay, generally the memory of the stack will start from the 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So 4 cells are there. The memory starts from 0 to 3. Initially the top is minus 1. What is top? Top indicate the top of the stack. Since there is no data in the stack, then the initially stack is as, uh, top is assumed as a minus 1 okay so now i want to push the one push means insert the one so now this uh, top is indicating minus one top is indicating minus one if i want to push first we have to increase the top equal to top plus one so top will become zero top will become zero why i am increasing the top equal to top plus one so minus one plus 1 we will get the 0 that is why the top will become 0 so here we will assume that we are having the cell like this 1 2 3 now the top is pointing to the 0 so I have inserted the 1 at the 0 then again I want to insert the 2 so whenever we want to insert I have to increase the top equal to top plus 1 already top is 0 if I want to increase the top equal to top plus 1 top will become 1 ok now the top is this is 0 position this is 1 position now since the top is 1 top will be pointing to the 1 so in the 1 place we will insert the 2 ok the next if I want to insert the 3 what we have to do I have to increase the top equal to top plus 1 so top will become 1 plus 1 top will become 2 so top will be pointing to the 2 location 2 so we will insert the 3 at the position 2 again if I want to increase the fourth item number 4 I have to increase the top how can I increase the top top equal to already top value is 2 so 2 plus 1 top will become 3 so we can see 0 1 2 top will be pointing to the position 3 so the 4 will be inserted or pushed into the position 3 this is how the push operation will be performed if again I want to increase or I want to insert the item 5 whether I can insert no already the stack is full now what will happen if you are increasing the top top will become 3 plus 1 4 but we don't have the fourth position in the stack 
so we cannot insert the 5 so here we will meet the condition stack is overflow so whenever we are have the stack is overflow we cannot insert any item so here what you have to understand is first if we want to insert the item first you have to increase the top equal to top plus 1 then we can insert but at the same time before inserting we have to make sure that stack is not full how can we make sure that stack is not full the top should not be equal to the uh, size of the stack okay the top is equal to equal to size of the stack means we can say the stack is full in this example also the top size is 4 as well as the size of the stack also 4 okay uh, so when we are meeting this condition we cannot insert the item so we cannot go up to this condition we have to uh, check this condition before the one step I will tell you how we can check it so this is the push operation in the stack okay so push operation is inserting the data item how we can insert the data item we have to increase the top equal to top plus one and we have to insert pop pop means removing the item from the stack okay i will tell you later how can we do the pop operation first we will see the push operation okay the stack can be implemented in two ways one is by using the array implementation another is by using the list link list implementation in this uh, lab uh, first exercise we are going to implement the stack using the array implementation okay so first we have to create the one dimensional array if we are implementing by using c we have to uh, create a one array uh, then we have to give the size of the stack but if you are using the python we have to create the list and we have to give the size of the stack okay for the python then we have to declare the top is minus one why we are declaring the top is minus one initially when the stack is empty we are have to declare the top is minus one it's showing that the stack is empty okay then we, this is the algorithm to uh, this is the, again the example to insert the item first initially the top is minus one if you want to uh, insert the sum item first you have to increase the top equal to top plus one then top will become zero then we will push the 10 into the stack then if we want to insert the next item again we have to increase the top equal to top plus one top will become one then we can push the item into the first position so this is the zeroth position this is the first position like that this is zero one again if we want to insert the uh, item we have to increase the top equal to top plus one again we can insert okay uh, you may ask sir we are not checking the overflow condition yeah actually before insert we have to check the overflow okay as a simple example i didn't check it okay so when the stop will become full uh, when the top is equal to equal to size minus one you can see here you can see the stack is full when the stack is full when top equal to equal to size minus one what is the size of the stack four so top is three the size of the stack is four four minus one so it is a three equal to three so when we are meeting this condition then we can say the stack is full okay so whenever we are doing the insert we have to check this condition then if the condition is not true we can uh, increase the top then we can insert we'll see the algorithm how to do the push operation very first step we have to make sure that the stack is not full so check the stack is not full how can you check top equal to equal to size minus one if it is full we have to display stack is full otherwise we have to increase the top by one then we have to insert the data into the stack okay let us see the example i will show you how to uh, do the uh, do it in the uh, google collab so in the first exercise we are going to implement the uh, uh, stack uh, I will show you how to do so just open the Google collab and the Google collab uh, go to the file and uh, give the new notebook 
uh, in our lab we may use google collab or maybe the data lab dot uh, dot edu as a first exercise i'm going to show you with the google collab okay here you can give the your uh, experiment name so i'm going to give stack using arrays okay so you can see here two cells are available one is the code another one is the text okay uh, so if you can see the play button if it is uh, seeing the play button it is a code you can do the code here python code here if you have the text if you want to have the some text you can give the text symbol here here you can type the some data like a title you can give okay stack implementation okay or stack using arrays okay if you want to make it as a title you can select and you can give the title so it will become it will look like a title so this is the text box you can give the text okay here we are going to give the uh, kind of programming code okay so first uh, hope you know python if you don't know the python i will uh, teach you some basics python here i'm going to use the some class in python to implement this one why we are using the class so that we can reuse the code we no need to write the code again and again we can call the function by using the object so first let me create the class what is class class is the collection of object by using the class we can create the n number of object from object we can call the functions what is object uh, object is we can call it as a uh, combination of the data and uh, uh, functions we can say okay so this data and function will be available in the class okay so let me declare the class so so declare the class let me increase the screen okay first i uh, let me give the class i'm going to give the class name so for example i'm going to give the class name is csc okay now i'm going to give the constructor what is constructor it will be called whenever we are creating the object okay whenever you are initializing the object the first constructor will be called okay so how do we create the constructor the to create the function in python is def okay definition so instead of giving the function name if we are giving the double underscore init again double underscore means it will become the constructor what is constructor it will be called first whenever you are creating the object okay so here i have created the constructor so whenever i am creating the object for the class csc this constructor will be called okay so what why i am using the constructor so whenever i am creating the object some initialization i have to do what are the initialization i have to do first you can see we have to have the uh, top variable we have to give the size of the stack everything okay right so this initialization will be done over here so since there is a no arrays in python if we want to use the arrays we have to go with the numpy uh, we are going to use the list uh, in the uh, python to create the arrays okay so i'm going to have the list name is stack so this is the uh, line or function to create the list what is list list can have the multiple data item in the single variable so here variable name is stack and the stack will become the list it can have the more than one data item you can see the self keyword here what is self keyword it will represent the current object okay whenever you are seeing the self you have to understand it is the current object okay it is the current object so first i have created the class it is a class creation so if you want to give the command line okay you can give the hash and you can give the uh, command line okay it is a creation of class what is this one this is the constructor what is constructor it will be called whenever we are creating the object and what is this we are creating the uh, variable here this is the list okay then next what i am going to do i am going to give the size of the stack okay every stack will have the size okay i am going to give the size of the stack i am going to give the variable max size 
okay and let me assume the size of the stack is 5 so how many cells will be there 5 cells it will start from 0 to 4 and what is the initially that uh, top value top equal to minus 1 okay so first I have created the constructor uh, see there is a no open brace close brace in python it is intent oriented okay you have to give the intent properly the space properly after the class you can see some spaces there it indicating it belongs to this class after the constructor if we want to go to the function give the backspace so that it will uh, come in this place okay and we can create the next function okay so again i am defining the function which function we have to define push function okay so i am giving def push push and here if we want to pass any data we can pass first i am passing the self what is self current object data i am passing then some data we have to insert right that data i am passing who will going to give this data from the main we are going to send this data first variable is the self that is the current object the second variable is the data some data item which is going to insert in the stack what is this line indicating uh, this line is indicating the push function or defining function function definition we can say okay uh, or uh, function creation for easy understanding i'm telling function creation actually it is called as a function definition what is the function name function name is push so if we want to create the function you have to create like this def push these are the command lines for your own understanding i'm giving okay uh, so after this line give the one tab so it will come in the proper indent okay here first i have to do the push operation okay push operation uh, explanation is given here you can see we have to see the algorithm and we have to implement the same in the code okay so we will go into the algorithm first we have to check the stack is full or not when the stack will fu become full top equal to equal to size minus one then we can say stack is full okay so here i have to check this condition whether top equal to equal to size minus one so i am going to check if self dot top sir why you are giving self it is a current object of top equal to equal to self dot max size minus one if it is so after the condition function we have to give the colon uh, please remember after the class function creation after the condition whenever you want to open the brace instead of the brace you will use the colon symbol here okay if the top equal to equal to size minus one then what we have to do we have to print uh, stack is full insertion is not possible okay then we have to print so i am going to use the print function we are going to say stack is full okay very simple first we are creating the push function we are checking the stack is full or not how do we check if the top size is equal to equal to max minus one we can say stack is full otherwise if the stack is not full we have to use the else part you may study it in the uh, you may study the same thing in c programming otherwise what we have to do check the algorithm we have to increase the top equal to top plus one so just increase the top equal to top plus one then what we have to do then store the data how do we store the data i will show you how to store the data see i have made the mistake whenever you are doing the uh, accessing the para variable we have to give the self what is the self is indicating the current object of top okay so top equal to top plus one okay then what we are going to give uh, we have to uh, store the same data in the top position so i'm going to give self dot stack of stack dot append data okay uh, what is the data data we are received from the main function first i am checking that top is equal to 
max minus 1 if it is not max minus 1 it will come into the else bar we are increasing the top equal to top plus 1 then we are appending into the the our stack what is stack it is a list okay in the list we are appending so what is the meaning we are adding the data into the stack list okay so what is the top value here top is initially what is the top top equal to top value is initially minus 1 again it is increased by 1 so top will become 0 so the right now the top is 0 in the 0th position only we are appending the data into the stack hope you are clear now we have to run this code and we have to check it whether it is running properly to run this code we have to create the object see this is the classes over so the, again we have to start from the main so here i'm not giving any intern i'm going to give first csc equal to csc sir what is this sir this is the object creation object creation you can see what is the object name first csc what is the csc this is the class name object name equal to class name this is how we have to create the object now one object is created for the csc class what is the object name first csc so now i can call this function which function i have to call so do you remember i when i, I taught you about the constructor whenever we are creating the object this function is executed so it is created the one stack with the maximum size 5 and top equal to minus 1 after creating the object we have to call the function how do we call the function we have to call first csc dot what is the function name push p u s h push and we have to insert the item which item we have to insert that item we have to get from the user okay value equal to int input generally input function used to get the item from the user in runtime but it may be it will be in the um, string format so we are converting into the integer okay we are going to give enter the data then that data is converted into int and it is stored in the value now you can see the push function you can see this push function is receiving two value one is the self value that is the current object another one is the data so we no need to pass the current object but we have to pass the value for the data so here i am going to pass the value okay now what will happen uh, when i run this code first line it will create the object when it is creating the object it will call the constructor then it will get the one input from the user then it will push the data into the stack let me run this code we will check whether it is running properly or not yeah it is asking the input i am giving five so since we are not displaying the content it is not showing anything it is inserting the data into the stack then it is not showing anything so we have to display the content okay so i am going to write the function for the display how do we create the function def that is definition what is the function name we can have any function name let me have it as a display okay i am going to give the display and we have to pass the parameter i am going to pass the current object then only it will uh, display the current object detail okay here i am going to give them some code to display so okay so how can we display just give the print uh, if it is c program we have to use the for loop and we have to display since it is a what to say a python we are having we can uh, display the list very simply you can give the print list name okay now after the, if i run this program whether it will uh, display the item no this is the function definition we have to call the function how do we call the function that is the object name dot the function name that is the function name is display okay so we have to understand that first we have to create the function then only we can call the function okay uh, so if you are running this program i am inserting the data 5 then you can see it is displaying the item in the stack if we want to insert the two item okay what shall we do you have to call the two times push function 
okay uh, let me have the two time push function let me insert the same value again and again 4 Okay, you can see 4, 4 because the first time 4 is inserted into the stack. Again, the second time 4 is inserted into the stack. How many times we can insert like this? Up to 5 times. Then it has to say the stack is full. Third time, fourth time, fifth time. Okay, and let me give the sixth time also. Let us run this code. I am giving 5. You can see. 5 first 5 times it is in it has been inserted 6th time it is showing the stack is full because the top value is reached the uh, size minus 1 that is the 4 so it is displaying the stack is full then it is uh, running the display function uh, hope you are clear so stack means insert uh, operation how do we perform the insert first we have to check the stack is full or not if it is not full we are uh, inserting how we are inserting we are increasing the top equal to top plus one and we are using the append function to insert then if we want to display we are displaying the list this is the very simple push function now we are going to see about the pop function what is pop removing the element from the stack okay let us see the example this is the stack we are having if i want to pop you cannot uh, delete any item just like that now uh, only we can delete the item which is in the top okay in this example let me give the uh, index 0 1 2 3 what is the size of the stack the size is 4 okay now if we want to top is pointing to the Three. Why I am saying the top is pointing to the 3? Because whenever the stack is full, it is the size minus 1. What is the size minus 1? 4 minus 1, 3. Now top is pointing to 3. If we want to remove the uh, item 40, it is pointing to the top is pointing to the 3. So it will decrease the top equal to top minus 1. Then, uh, then we can remove. Okay, now top is pointing to the second item is 0 1 2 then it is removed the 40 now you can see the top is pointing to the 2 now which item you can pop you can pop only the 30 if you want to pop the 30 again you have to decrease the top value by 1 so top will become 1 then top will be pointing to after removing the 30 and 40 the top will be pointing to the position 1 now which item we can remove 20 okay uh, before uh, after removing then we have to decrease the top value by uh, we have to decrease the top value by 1 so top will become 0 uh, these items are removed okay then it is pointing to the 0 then if we want to remove you can remove then we have to decrease the top value uh, by uh, we have to decrease the top value by 1 so when the stack will become empty when top equal to equal uh, minus 1 then we can say top is empty okay In initially itself we are declaring right top equal to minus 1 so at that time the stack is empty so the condition to check the stack is empty is top equal to equal to minus 1 if the top is minus 1 we can say stack is empty so every time whenever we are doing the pop operation we have to make sure that some items in stack okay, in this example if you are removing the top is uh, if you are removing the item 10 then our stack will become empty right it will not have the any data now top is pointing to minus 1 after removing the 10 the top is minus 1 now can we remove any data no because stack is empty no data are there then how can we remove so whenever we are doing the pop we have to check whether stack is empty or not if it is not empty we can remove if it is empty we have to say we cannot perform the pop operation let us see the algorithm first we have to check the stack is empty or not how do we check the stack is empty if top equal to equal to minus 1 then we can say stack is empty we can't remove the data otherwise 
if the stack is not empty then what we have to do we have to uh, delete the top of the item first we have to delete then we have to decrease the top equal to top minus one you got it uh, so if there is a empty stack we cannot do the uh, pop operation how do we check top equal to equal to minus one otherwise we have to delete the item we are um, we are um, decreasing the top value minus one then we have to display okay um, so here what you have to do now uh, here we have to write the code for pop okay since the first exercise i am going to show how to do it definition function name is pop i am going to pass the self i am not passing the data why i am not passing the data in stack we cannot delete any item only top of the item can be deleted we cannot say delete so and so item so we no need to pass the input only top of the item can be deleted then what we have to do we have to check this condition top equal to equal to minus one or not we have to check this condition sorry we have to check this condition okay so how do we check this condition if self dot top equal to equal to minus one then what we have to do we have to display stack is empty we cannot perform pop operation okay otherwise because if it is empty how can we delete we cannot delete right that's why we are displaying otherwise else part what we are going to do we have to delete it okay uh, i am going to have one variable item equal to self dot stack dot pop what is pop operation here pop is the operation available in the list here we are using the append right append is the function available in the list okay list function similarly pop is the which function list function it is the inbuilt function what it will do it will take the top of the list okay and it will be stored into the item then what we are doing we are doing self dot top equal to what we have to do we have to decrease self dot top equal to top minus one we are decreasing the top equal to top minus one then we have to display the deleted item print deleted item what is the deleted item item that's it okay now our pop operation also over now we have to call the pop as well okay before that uh, for all this exercise 1 to 10 we have to use the uh, we have to call the function in the menu driven format okay like a choice we have to get the choice from the user to perform the operation if choice is 1 we have to do the push choice is 2 we have to do the pop choice is 3 we have to do the display function okay so how do we do it i am going to show that one while i am going to give one so always this condition will be true if always uh, it will uh, execution will go to the while i am going to print one for push print two for pop then print three for display and print four for exit okay now i am going to get the choice from the user which operation i want to perform choice equal to int how do we get the input by using input function we have to convert into the integer enter your choice 
okay then i'm going to check if choice equal to equal to 1 what i'm going to do i'm going to perform the push operation so i have to receive the value from the user value equal to int of input enter the data okay then after getting the data what we have to do we have to call the which function push means push function object name dot push which data we have to pass value data okay if the choice is 2 so again we have to use the l if this you may study it in the c python and so on l if if choice equal to equal to 2 we have to do pop operation l if choice equal to equal to 3 i am going to display else i am going to break it break the iteration okay so this is called as a menu driven so all this program all the many most of the 10 exercises we have to use the menu driven we have to get the choice from the user if the choice is one we have to do the push choice is two we have to do the uh, pop if choice is three we have to display if choice is four we have to exit okay so if the choice is one i am getting the data i am passing the data to the push function and i am uh, do the push operation if choice is do it two it will call the pop function it will perform the pop it will choice is three it will display okay let me run this code it is asking the uh, items uh, sorry choice if i give the one it will ask it will go to the push operation it will ask for the data i am giving the one Okay, data first I insert a data if I want to display I will give the three you can see the in the list first inserted data is one again it is asking the choice I'm giving the again one push operation I'm inserting the data two okay now uh, if I want to display I can give the three so what are the data are there one and two what is the top of the stack two if I give the two option two pop operation will be performed so which item should be deleted item that is the number two should be deleted so i am giving the choices two okay deleted item is two again if you want to display you can display the list is having only the one item if you are giving the four it will be exit so this is your first exercise i have shown you how to do the push pop as well as display so uh, try to implement the same thing in the Google Colab and uh, you do the uh, one simple operation okay since you are new to the lab you do only one simple operation okay uh, peak operation you have to do okay you just find what is a peak and implement the peak operation okay it's a very simple one only I uh, hope you are clear um, if you have any doubt you can ask me in the during the lab section thank you